Fish on, fish on! <laughs> woo -hoo -hoo, woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. And it's a big one. He got that top water plug. Couldn't resist it. Fish on. Wow. That is a top water redfish. Today I'm showing you how to catch redfish on top water. We're gonna have a lot of fun. We're starting right now. Let's go see what we can catch. When it comes to throwing top waters, there's really four questions that you have to answer. When, where, what, and how. When. When do you throw top waters? Well, it's not about the time of day, it's about the conditions. You know that from watching this channel uh, frequently. And the conditions are, you're looking for water that is relatively calm. It can have some ripples in it. It can even be a little choppy, but you can't do it when the water is running fast and there's a lot of chop in the water. So that's when, look for the right conditions. Also, low light. Low light is extremely important. I don't have that today because we have clear blue skies, but I still think we'll be able to catch fish on top water. Low light conditions, calmer water conditions, but doesn't have to be still or glass light. That's when. The second question is where. Where do you throw top water? Well, I throw it wherever I see signs of fish in those conditions. Like right here, right in front of the boat here, you see some a bait fish moving, or maybe you can't see that. There's a few little ripples over here. I see bait fish swimming. So this is a good spot and a good time to throw top water. That's where. Our third question we have to ask is what? What do we throw? Well, we throw top water baits, and you can see that top water baits, like this particular uh, bait, is very popular. It's the Hayden Spook Junior. This one's beat up a bit, and I've adjusted it because I like to throw baits with inline single hooks on it. But this is one of the top baits. I also have a chug bait with me uh, today that I'll show you a little bit later if this one isn't really doing the trick. But that's what you throw, top water baits. Well, the last question that we have to answer is the dif most difficult one to answer, and that's the how. So I'm gonna show you several techniques throughout the day as we uh, throw these top water baits that you can use in order to catch fish on top water, specifically redfish on top water. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just walking the dog and you know, to walk the dog, you need a little bit of slack in your line and a delayed retrieve and then you just twitch the line. Plenty of YouTubers that will show you how to walk the dog uh, in a kayak, it's a little more difficult because you can't keep your rod tip uh, so far down. But I keep mine out to the side, and then I just twitch and re reel slowly. You want slack in the line, though, when you twitch, because that's what makes the bait change directions. And you're just trying to get that bait to just wag its tail, so to speak, in the water. That way it imitates an injured bait fish. Whoa, there's our first top water hit. And when you get that hit, just keep reeling. That was pretty close to the boat too. Just keep reeling because he missed it. Fish are gonna miss top water just like that all the time. But you can see that that walk the dog style really gets them to strike. So we missed that fish, we'll keep fishing. We'll get one today, interestingly. We've got some cloud cover back here too. So it's getting a little bit darker, a little bit more overcast. That'll help us out with the top water as well. Ho oh, ho, I had a fish following it. Oh, <laughs> too bad. Okay, we've been throwing our Heat and Spook Junior, which is a typical standard plug type, plug style top water bait. This is uh, a chug bait is what I call it, a topwater chug bait. You see it's got this little dip in the nose of it. That's made to catch water. 
And then this one you retrieve, you can still walk the dog with it because it is a topwater bait. But this one you can retrieve by just twitching it toward you and it makes a splash with the lip. It just cups some water and spits it out. And that tends to attract some fish. I use this sometimes when the chop is a little bit more than you should be throwing top water at because it makes a little bit more of a ruckus. Uh, this bait, when you chug it, it stays, you, you leave it. So it's a twitch, pause, twitch, twitch, pause. So, you know, pop, pop, pause. That's kind of what you want to do with this bait. And setting the hook, you got to be careful on these top waters. I tend to let the fish take it. Uh, and when he does, just a little tension back and the hook will be set, especially if you've got treble hooks. You, you got almost no problem setting the hook, but, but if you're using inline single hooks like I've got on this Spook Junior, don't do it as soon as, you, as soon as the splash happens. But when you see the fish take the bait, that's not the time. When you feel the fish, that's when you want to set the hook. And that's true of any bait, not just these topwaters, any bait. It's always best if you wait till you feel the fish. Well, that might be why there's no fish biting today. There's a couple of dolphins playing around right there. <laughs> there's one of them, the other one's farther out. So, seems like uh, the water's high enough that we're competing with the dolphins today. There he is. Fish on! Fish on! <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo. Top water, baby! Top water plug! Let's see! <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Man, it's a big one! He got that top water plug. Couldn't resist it. Fish on! Fish on! I don't even see it yet. He's a big one. He could not resist that top water plug. Mm. Oh my goodness. I think this looks like a red. He's staying down. Looks like a big redfish, guys. Fish on. Let's see. He's here the, close to the boat. Oh, whoa. Look at this. This is good. He's going to be over slide if he is a redfish. I'm going to have to wear this guy out. <laughs> Here we go. Top water redfish. Just got to find the fish <laughs> on this old top water plug. Yeah, we got to wear this guy out. He's a big, he looks like a red. Looks like a redfish. And he doesn't look to be too happy. Oh, yeah, that's a red. That is a red fish. Oh my goodness. And he is pulling me. Woohoo! <laughs> my drag is pretty tight. It's tighter than I normally keep it. And he it's he's whipping it out. This is a huge red fish. Huge red fish. Top water. Boy, he took it down too. My goodness. Look at this red fish, guys. Whoa, this guy is huge. He's a monster. Oh my goodness. Look at how big this guy is. He may be short though. I don't know. He's, <laughs> this guy's, he's a horse. Look at this. And he took down that top water plug. Oh, he doesn't even fit in the net. Oh my goodness. I got to show you the plug in his mouth. It is ridiculous. Ridiculous, yeah, he's... Oh, my goodness. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo! -hoo -hoo. Wow! That is a topwater redfish. Look at this guy. 
he's got the whole plug in his mouth. Yeah, I can get, oh man. Maybe the front one is in his crushers. He went to town. Look at this, this guy, he's gotta be, look at that redfish, guys. <laughs> he is definitely gonna be over slot. Let's see if I can get this hook out of his mouth and get him back in the water because I don't want him to struggle if I got to throw him back, and I think I do. Let's see if I can get this one out of the front. Mm, mm. This is why I don't like these type of... There we go. Oh, the back is in the roof of the top of his mouth. Whew, got it out. All right, guys, I got the bait out of his mouth. I'm gonna put him back in the net a little bit so he can get a little bit gulp of water. There you go, buddy. And we're gonna measure him. This is, he's a big one. Ho oh, oh. ho, wow. Overcast skies. Sun's been out and it went away. Hmm. He is 30 inches. Yep, get his nose up there. 29, 29 and a half inch redfish. That is a huge 29 and a half inch redfish right there. Nice. Woohoo! Let's get you revived, buddy, and let you go. Thanks for biting that top water. Because he's so big, we're gonna spend a little time with him. I'm gonna tow him a bit till he is really ready to go because we want to preserve this fish. He's starting to turn on me, which is a good thing, and kick, that's good, he's rolling over. We grab his tail, kick away. There he goes, guys. Wow, a beautiful, Beautiful, 30 inch, 29 and a half, huge overslot redfish on a top water. And uh oh, well guys, that's gonna do it for me. I do not stay out here in thunderstorms and that thunderstorm is running up on us. So we gotta get out of here quickly. Ooh, these Florida afternoon thunderstorms are not something you want to deal with. Thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you learned how to catch redfish on top water. Uh, you can do it, trust me. Just spend some time at it. Follow the tips that you saw in this video. Click on one of these two other videos and you'll learn even more about catching redfish. This is Kayak Fishing Addict on YouTube. I'll see you in a few days. Whew. It's getting dark over there.